Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to our live Live Good Firestarter Friday training call. Opp or not opportunity call, but uh, rank advancement call. Happy, positive, high energy. That's right. Just, yeah, awesomeness. All right, another big week. You guys are absolutely rocking, and we have some huge things coming down the pike. I'm super excited for uh yeah. for what we're about to roll out in the next 30 to 60 days. Lots of awesome products, lots of awesome marketing material, lots of awesome other stuff that you guys don't even know what's about to happen, but it's going to be huge. So uh, yeah, I got a few announcements, not too many today. We've got a lot of rank advancements as usual. Got some awesome trainers back with us today. So uh, Nader, what do you got? Hey, buddy. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's been amazing. One note to self, ladies and gentlemen, this new E3 that Ryan and Lisa created, oh my goodness, unbelievable. Definitely make sure you get on it. If you're not a coffee drinker, I'm not a coffee guy, but this has definitely changed my morning. But yeah, Ben, you're dead on, bro. Here's the thing. As we are growing, you know, we passed a million people in record-breaking time, which is the tip of the iceberg. Now people are truly realizing that, you know what, you can get your hands on the most advanced nutritional products on earth at pennies on a dollar. And I really think that's why these rank advancements are just popping every week. I mean, there are other companies in this beautiful industry that we love and I met you through that they don't put a thousand in the people in a whole month and we got people ranking up in a week over a thousand. Why? Everybody's going club. Everybody want to save money. Like we talked about last night, that lockdown made everybody to become super bargain shoppers and investigators and wondering, why are they paying $100 for some Goliath network marketing product when now they can get the best in the world? So, yeah, we're rocking. We're rocking. Back to you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Lisa Goodkin, good morning. Hey, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. Um, so I mentioned it last night on the call, and I just want you guys to always think about it when you are selling the products. What our – a lot of times people don't know where to start, right? They, where do I begin or what do I switch over to? It's really about the ultimate wellness pack and the international wellness pack to start because right there, those three things, not three things, those supplements really do three things. Over the body, with the antioxidants, they eliminate nutrient deficiencies and they calm down the unwanted inflammation. That's something that everybody needs. So it's that should be like a really easy way to sell or get somebody to switch over to our products. And then from there, you know, it just kind of goes on one by one. They switch over from what they're making and, you know, switch it to ours. Um, but regardless, it's an easy way to sell the products. You guys know our products are amazing. You know I'm always here to help. Um, love getting the questions. Make sure you have... Um, your downlines utilize or uplines utilize our training videos because again lots of questions come in and we've already done a training video on it so and uh, again on our website under the learn more section i get a lot of how do i use this it's all there for you we're trying to provide more and more and more information so customers don't have to reach out with questions like that you know so if there's also something that you feel like we um, need to inform on our website or on a uh, training video please email me that and let me know back to you ben awesome stuff and yeah that's the coolest part of it. I, I love our i mean i love all of our products and all of our packs but yes i mean the daily essentials pack is a no-brainer 27 dollars 40 cents for multivitamin magnesium and vitamin b3 all three of them stuff you absolutely need to be taking in your body every single day. I mean, that one's a no brainer, but the international pack is awesome. I mean, most other companies for 89 bucks, you get one product, one, and you might probably have to pay for shipping on top of that. But $89 here, you get six products. You get the daily essentials pack, multivitamin, magnesium, and vitamin D. You get our super reds, boom. You get our super greens, Boom. And you get our awesome, amazing, one of a kind, only on the market, Factor 4. All six of those products for less than the price of one in other companies. I mean, it is such an easy decision that all of us should be making every single month. You guys should be using these every single day. It's so easy uh, to do it. And it's going to make such a huge impact in your life, in your health, in your wellness, in your happiness, and how you feel, your energy levels. So many things just from those products alone. So awesome stuff, Lisa. Thank you so much. Let's go out to Dr. Ryan. What do you got for us? 
Hi, hey everybody. Uh, yeah, I, one of the things I like a lot is fasting. Um, and I know there's a lot of like sort of, un, you know, people don't really know exactly what that is. So I have, Lisa, been talking about maybe launching something in the f future to see what a fasting protocol might look like for Live Good. I kind of love that idea. Maybe you guys have some input. Send me an email. That would be awesome to hear from me on it, whether it's a one day cleanse, whether it's a one day water fast or a three day fast or even just intermittent fasting. But it's a super effective way to jumpstart a, a new like plan and kind of start over and, and break some of these bad habits and stuff. So I love that. But on the product side, there's a lot of things cooking. Um, we know we talked about children's gummy and I just went back and forth with Ben on this the other day. And I was like, no way, man, there's nothing like what we've got coming out. The reason why we're a little bit delayed is because I've literally changed this formula and had to go into pilots multiple times because it is a gummy. Gummies are so tricky. They're so hard. We're using plant-based it's pectin based gummy it's usda certified organic and i'm loading it because i'm trying to get everything that the, the developing child needs and it's really a difficult balance guys so i apologize for the small delays we are still looking at a february launch um super excited about that there's the detox thing we've talked about because i told you a lot you want to believe the amount of exposure to things that our body is is not processing properly there's a hydration pack coming that uh, that aids with detox because i jokingly have told you the solution to pollution is dilution. So hydrating is very, very, very important. It does help the body cleanse itself. It does, you know, obviously a lot of things. We're mostly made of water. Um, so that's in, in the works. The protein is coming real soon. We actually are staying in the sleep category for a little longer. We're going to bring another sleep product to the market, guys. That's coming along real nice. Some neat ingredients there. There is skincare. And I know that you guys have heard the news that we're doing household. So there's household and skincare. It's coming very soon. We've expanded the skincare mission. It's looking a little bigger now. Um, they will be available on an individual basis, but they're all going to come together for some really awesome, clean uh, pack. So that's really exciting stuff. Gut support's another area of focus. Bone support is one that I just was working on this morning. I recognize the importance and the need for a good bone health supplement. Uh, and then, of course, the women's the women's hormone supplement, which a lot of you have been asking about. There is an incredible amount of extracts in there, and I am making sure they are all standardized. It is a very big feat. Nobody else has done it. Uh, so sourcing has been the challenge, but I've got all the pieces of the puzzle done there. So that's not that's not too far off either. Um, warehouse is kicking butt. Um, I appreciate everybody giving me input. I keep glancing over at my notes because there's, I don't know, I have like 30, 30 plus items that I'm just referring to is as things in development. Um, but I, again, I appreciate all the feedback. Things are going really smooth uh, from the warehouse side of things, Ben. Um, anything else, I'll send it back to you. Awesome. So hydration, dude, I love that product and I want that product. What, what's the time frame status? Where are we? Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, so I do too. I'm a big, big fan of it. I've been using the LMNT version. I know there's a lot on the market now. They're pretty expensive. Um, it's crazy. So packaging packaging we're going stick packs guys i know you've all been asking not are you pumped for a stick pack i know you are come on give me a fist pump boom yeah he loves the stick pack idea so the stick packs are super convenient and um it's a little bit harder it's nothing big i mean we're we're in we're in on it we're moving forward we're, we've settled on everything the formula and um it's it's only one flavor this time ben but maybe we'll do more if as we get more feedback maybe we'll come out with an unflavored which would be my preference oh real quick thing on flavors i know today's a training call so i kind of like to drop this Curry and I were texting a little this morning and I was kind of laughing, joking back and forth with them. I'm like, man, the people that are bitch, like, or, excuse me, people that are complaining about like, well, I wish it was sweeter or more palatable or had a different taste or a different flavor. I'm like, guys, there's literally labs out there that try to pitch you on maskers. They're, li they're li literally, it's called flavor maskers. There are just so many added chemicals and unnecessary things to try to cover up the taste, the flavor, the aroma, the, the palatability, whatever it might be, whether it's bitter, whether it's sweet, whether it's sour. And I just, I elect not to do that. I really don't think you guys want that. Your bodies don't need it. There's not, there's no body asking for more of these artificial maskers or flavor agents or coloring agents. So solubilizers, things that make you go and stay in the water longer instead of settling. You don't need it. I'm, I'm encouraging you guys to see through it. Think about it when you're consuming these products. So like, I think they taste great. We've gone back and forth, back and forth and done many taste pilots. And we've settled on what we believe is still the best tasting of, of you know, the ones we've had the opportunity to try. But anyway, that was my little, uh, my two cents on flavor, Ben. I think that's an important topic that I want people to recognize that sometimes they're not super sweet or very, very flavorful because we don't add in a bunch of artificial stuff. Back to you. Yeah, I'm looking at your LMNT 
sticks on Amazon. Dude, they're expensive. And I also see Liquid IV, which is a popular one. They're very expensive. So all these guys, they're, they're selling this stuff for about $1.50 to $2.50 per stick. Um, ours is probably going to be like half of the lower one, half of the dollar fifty, like 70, 75 cents out there. So probably Easily. 30 servings for like 20 bucks, 1995 is what we're shooting for. Um, and that's awesome. And I, I love, you know, I we compare ourselves to a lot of network marketing companies a lot, but it, they're, you know, that industry has been weird for so long and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But like Lisa talked about last night, you know, her and Ryan were in the wellness industry for a long time and they've you know they owned a healthcare clinic they did they pulled blood and did whole you know blood what do you got call them panels for people um and you know just analyzed everything that's wrong with them and where their deficiencies are and all this stuff and you know they sold a lot of supplements and same thing they're all marked up eight to ten times in this case not to pay out the affiliates but yes to pay out the the doctors or the clinic owners or the uh chiropractors or whoever it may be who basically are the affiliates they're buying it for you know maybe it costs 12 bucks to make the chiropractors or the business owners the healthcare clinics are buying it for maybe 30 and selling it for 50 or 60. that's just how it works you know, and i forgot i even bought this one it's been sitting on my desk this is bio optimizers magnesium you see that um 35 dollars for a magnesium that isn't that amazing actually this is only 30 caps 30 caps for 35 bucks ours where is it 8.95 for 60 capsules awesome so anyway um so it's cool so when you see companies like lmnt and liquid iv who are charging a ton of money and they don't even have to pay out the affiliates maybe they're doing some affiliate programs i don't even know but uh, you know, to to be the the highest quality products on the market, the lowest price, really again gives us a huge advantage, and and uh, it is another reason that everybody needs Live Good, as we continue to talk about. So, lots of exciting stuff. Another big week, slightly bigger than last week. Um, affiliate side is absolutely rocking, as as Ryan mentioned. Our warehouse team is crushing it. Our customer support team is crushing it. I just looked. There's less than we're like usually midday there's still a few hundred emails in there they're getting through i mean they're zeroing that inbox out every single day the customer support emails so that means pretty much every single email unless it requires some kind of special attention is getting responded to the same day unless you send it overnight it'll be the next day as it was sent and that's awesome right now i mean they got less than 100 emails in there that to be responded to they'll probably knock that out in the next couple hours obviously more will come in but they're crushing it. We're on top of everything. Commissions going out on time every time. Um, firing in all cylinders, launching a lot of new stuff, both product-wise, marketing-wise, and just everything to help you guys go out there and, and continue to crush it. And that's why we're continuing to keep the numbers up and just, um, it's a word, keep forgetting it today, uh, disrupt. There we go. Sorry, I'm looking at my, uh, my notes here. Disrupt the industry. All right. So let's talk about rank advancements. Here we go. 2,759 new bronzes this week alone. Again, almost 700, yeah. no, almost 400 a day. 2,759 new bronze ranked affiliates. Congratulations, bronzes. 388 new silvers. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. 66 new golds. <laughs> My one of my favorite ranks because that's that sweet spot. I mean, you get to that three to five hundred dollar a month level in any network marketing company, guys, and that is a huge accomplishment and for us to be, you know, seeing fifty to a hundred people every single yep. week hitting that level is amazing. Ten new platinums. I think last week we had five. This week, ten new platinum rank advancements. That is awesome. Platinums are making like on the low end a thousand bucks a month. Some of them as much as four, five, six thousand dollars a month as they're moving towards diamond. Congratulations, 10 new platinums. And one more diamond this week, another Korean. This Korean yes. team is on fire. And I'll tell you what, I looked through the diamonds this morning, just because I was, you know, I looked at this new diamond who just hit today. They've been ordering product every month. So yep. I was just curious just to see how many of the diamonds were not ordering product, just to see if there was any. 
every single diamond, 100% of mm -hmm. our diamond ranked affiliates are ordering products. Mm -hmm. Something to think about. Because, um, guys, these products really are the backbone of, of everything. You Thank need you. these products, whether you're involved in the opportunity or not, whether you want to get to diamond or not, you need these products. I mean, and I, I'm going to continue saying this as loud as I can, but guys, the world is as unhealthy as yeah. it's ever been. Over 75% of people in the world are overweight or obese. Lifespans are going down for the first time ever. With all the mm. science and technology, you think we could keep people alive forever. Lifespans are going down. More people are on prescription medications now than any time ever before in history. And it's time for a change. People are waking up, realizing they need to do something. We have the solution. We have the best products on the market, best prices anywhere. That's yep. just the first step. You also got to make meaningful changes in your life. Got to start exercising. Got to eat right. Got to cut out some bad stuff that you're putting in your body. But guys, it is not a hard change. And just, I mean, just adding something like magnesium, guys. Eight ninety five, thirty cents a day. This is the biggest no brainer. Take this for thirty days. If you mm -hmm. don't notice a difference, send it back. We'll give you your nine bucks back. But don't miss this. This could be the solution to a lot of your health challenges. A lot of people have migraines. A lot of people have digestive issues. A lot of people have sleep challenges. A lot of people, you know, different things don't function in your body. Magnesium is literally responsible for almost every chemical reaction, physical reaction. Every bodily function that your body does has something to do with magnesium. And most of us are not getting enough. If you recognize all those things and you're still not taking magnesium, it's like you don't want to fix it. It makes absolutely no sense. And at 30 cents a day, guys, it is just, yeah. I mean, it's not even a, I mean, it's like, oh. yeah, right? Yeah, and I mean, then, it's not even a decision. It's like, you had it's, talked about the bio optimizers. Yes. But also number one point of that product is their magnesium is in a proprietary blend where they don't break. They have seven different forms of magnesium. They don't tell you at all how much of either of them you're getting. You have not a clue. You could get it, be getting the most amount of the cheapest, less effective, least effective magnesium out there. That's right. That is correct. And each of their capsules. Yeah. Not even worth comparison, man. People buy it. Take it for tiny days. It's yeah, so, it's five hundred so of their blend. Love it. All right, Ryan. What product should everyone be taking? Magnesium. Awesome, Lisa. What product should everyone be taking? Well, I'm not going to say magnesium because Ryan just said, but I'm going to say my essential aminos. Love it. Yeah, that guys. I'm gonna. Tell us why, Lisa. The first sign of aging is muscle muscle loss. And essential aminos are the building blocks of protein. Like we need to have our essential aminos. And again, they're essential. You have to get them from your diet. Our body is not making them. And we are not getting enough of them from our diet. You have got to take them one to three times a day. I mean, it's not just beneficial for working out. This is for everybody to preserve muscle mass. And also, if your goal is to put on muscle mass, to put on muscle mass. We lose muscle mass significantly as we age past 30, and that accelerates even more past 60. What's the number one thing that takes us downhill when we're kind of later in our 60s, 70s? A fall, mm. fall prevention. I mean, there is just so much um, importance in the fact of maintaining muscle mass as we age. That's awesome. And I didn't realize that. That's the first sign of aging, guys, is your muscles yeah. start going away. And if you're you know, trying to keep up with your kids, your grandchildren, and you're hobbling along because your muscles have shrunk and you're out of shape and unfit, that's what we talk about. That's Lisa's motto is extend your health span, continue to be healthy. And the aminos are a huge, huge, huge part of that. And I tell you guys, I mean, that's the one product that I will not, you know, I'll go a day without taking my greens or reds or something. And I love my reds. You guys know that. I will not miss a day taking my aminos I, i'm scared because i don't want to lose my muscle i work very hard to keep my muscle and i don't I mean, this is this protects your muscle i mean it is an amazing product it's also the only one of our products that has two flavors think about that we're giving you more reason more opportunity more choices to take it we don't want you guys to have any excuse not to be taking this product every single day 
You got the fruit punch or my favorite, the lemon lime, but another must have product every single day. It should be in our um, international Thank pack. It's oh. not. Order it. Use it every day. Don't miss it. It's awesome. All right. What else we got? Nodder, what you got? Well, I mean, you asked what my favorite product is. What's your favorite you know product, what? Nodder? <laughs> Super red. Here's what I know. You and I have been doing this, bro, for combined 50 years. When I see the reports and how Ryan and Lisa are putting it, get these product packets together, you know what blows me away? What reminds me that we're doing the right thing is how picky he is with the ingredient level. See, last week you did a thing in the Zoom that people clipped it out and it exploded. You, you know, sometimes we say things that are like way awesomer than usual. Ladies and gentlemen, this has got to sink in. The only reason other companies sell these products for high prices is because the old way of doing it was to increase the price tenfold to pay commissions. It's the same thing in network marketing as what Lisa and Ryan experienced in their health business. Chain of commerce. You make it, you have to ship it to a local store. Local store has to hire employees, managers, the pay rent, all of that. What Ben Glinsky did, the reason he came out of retirement was take the proven club model, the club membership. Everybody's going club. I'm a hunter. I buy my ammo from Big Daddy Unlimited. My truck, I pay $30 a month, and every day I get a car wash. Everything is going club. So Ben is like, hmm, everybody thinks it's going club. We've been making the most advanced nutritional products on earth, but we've been having to increase the price to keep up with the broken industry. Everything comes together, creates this revolution called Live Good. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I don't want to disrespect our trainers, but this is so simple. This is so simple. People want to have fun. We have a lot of fun. Look at me. I'm sitting in my garage. Ben is in the spare room. I mean, we're normal people. We're having a blast for $2.50 a week. You get the most advanced nutritional products, very close to our cost, and you get on these fun Zooms. Back to you, Ben. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and, you know, we talk about this a lot, but I do want you guys to understand the way that we run this business is different than the way that most companies, network marketing and otherwise, run their business. They have huge, expensive corporate offices that they're spending millions of dollars on just for the building alone, plus all the staff that has to support it and work it and be there for it. Um, you know, and Nodder's doing a call out of his garage. That's how we work. And that's why we're able to pay out almost 85% of our membership fee out in commissions. That's how we're able to operate on such small margins. That's how we're able to make the highest quality products on the planet and make them available to you guys for the lowest prices anywhere and still have a very successful, profitable business, sustainable, scalable, and will continue to grow and disrupt and, and dominate this industry. And again, we're just getting started. So thank you for pointing that out, Nodder. Great stuff. Um, announcements. I don't have a lot. You know, our, our member referring member thing is almost ready. We'll probably have that live by next week. I believe our China... Payment options are going live today. Again, it's been a, a long approval after approval after approval process. And apparently they don't approve a lot of companies, especially outside of China. So the fact that, that they see that we're doing things right and clean and good um, and they have accepted us is, is a positive thing. So that should go live today. I'm excited about that country and all those uh, new distributors coming on board. We've got international Distribution centers open it up for our international wellness pack. Those will be coming online in the next 30 to 60 days. Open up a lot more opportunity, volume, and uh, and growth around the world. Um, and we've got another really big thing coming in the next couple of weeks. Might be live as, as early as next week. So I'm, I'm excited about that one. Uh, I think the customer acquisition bonus, I don't know if that's what's driving all these new product sales, but product sales are up significantly. Maybe, again, you guys are just waking up realizing, hey, I actually need these products. They're working, telling more people about it. But um, whatever it is, I, that's what makes us so happy. I know Ryan and Lisa absolutely love seeing the product order because that's what this business is about. I mean, yes, it's awesome to have so many members, over a million members in a year. It's awesome to have so many affiliates continuing to spread the word out there. But guys, if you're not taking advantage of these life-changing products, and I don't say that lightly, life-changing products, you're missing a huge, 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 probably the biggest part of this entire company. So um, congratulations on all the growth and excitement and the product 
uh, orders. It's it's cool to see those going up every week. Our warehouse crew absolutely loves it. We're bringing on more people to uh, to keep up with those orders, and they are they're killing it. As Ryan said, keeping up. Everything goes out next day every time. Um, not missing a beat. So that's all I got. We're crushing. Let's hear some training. And I'm uh, I'm excited to hear what these guys are bringing to the table today because, uh, yeah, I probably want to elaborate on it. All right, let's go out to – we haven't had her on the call for a couple of weeks. So let's start out in the ATL, as she calls it, Atlanta, Georgia. Tracy Walker, you ready? I am here. Thank you. Can you guys see me? I can't see myself. Now we can, yeah. Okay, well, fantastic. I don't know what's happening. So hopefully I look presentable because I can't see, but I am glad to be back. Yeah, the other week um, I had some things to do with Josiah and the rotation is nice, right? Because sometimes we get a break off. So that was last week. And so I was glad to get the invite to be back here uh, today. Um, what wonderful news um, that our leadership team, our corporate leadership team has revealed uh, in reference to products, in reference to sales, in reference to rank ups, uh, in reference to products um, and things just coming out in terms of like new things like the household cleaners, which I'm a I'm going to be so excited about that because I hated having to go just yesterday. I've been trying to hold off. You know, they hold us at bay and I've been trying to hold off on buying a big new thing of gain. But I had to like I have to wash my child's clothes. <laughs> so once this stuff comes out, I'll be so happy. Um, but nonetheless, uh, with all the talk about sales and getting product in people's hands and getting this membership into uh, the lives of, of people all around the world, I think that I wanted to, to share today. Um, the four different types of people that exist in terms of personality. And before I even talk about it, I want to just share that all of us have a mix of all of them, right? There's no one thing that you are and then you don't have any of the qualities of anything else. It's usually a mix, okay? Uh, and I want to give you guys just the gist of what each one is so that you can identify or at least, you know, kind of assess yourself and, and try to identify which one is uh, your dominant and then once you know who you are, when you're out and you're marketing the product or you're out and you're marketing Live Good as a membership or you're just talking about what we're doing in general, you want to be mindful of the people that respond and what they're saying because then you can identify who they are. And when you know who they are, you can serve them better. You can serve them better, right? So very first thing, there's four personality types. People use this in all different types of ways. Some people use seasons, colors, animals. Um, I've heard some other type of weight rendition, but I'm going to focus on colors. OK, so for those of you that have a piece of paper or you have the ability to grab a piece of paper really quickly, I know our CEO has one. He always is making sure we're saying what we need to be saying. OK, he's going to get us right. <laughs> so if you have a piece of paper, go ahead and draw like a big X. Right. I'm not a big X, a big cross. Right. So you have four quadrants. So you have a, a line going a vertical line, top to bottom, a horizontal line left to right. Your top left quadrant, um, you're going to call you're going to put a Y right there. OK, your top right quadrant, you're going to put a B right there. Your bottom left quadrant, you're going to put a G. G as in grow right there. And on the bottom right, you're going to put an R right there. Okay. Now those are your four quadrants, the axes, your vertical axes going top to bottom at the top, you are going to put, um, uh, what is the word? The word is called, um, well, let's go left to right. Cause I'm right on top of my head. The, the horizontal axis on the left, that is direct or that is indirect. Sorry. Indirect, right? The word indirect on the horizontal axis on the left direct would be on the right-hand side of that horizontal axis. So that line represents if you're indirect up to direct, okay? Oh, top, the vertical line, the top is open. So it just takes me a second for the brain to download it, right? The top is open and the bottom is uh, not open, right? Or just unopened. Okay, put it like that, open and unopen, all right? So now when you look at your axes and you look at that top left quadrant, you have a, a Y right there, that Y stands for yellow. The yellow personality type is usually indirect and, um, and I'm sorry, reverse, reverse the vertical axis, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, going out of memory. The top is unopened. The top of the vertical axis is unopened. I'm so sorry. The bottom is open. The bottom is open. So the yellow personality is uh, indirect and unopened. 
indirect and unopened. So what does that mean? A yellow personality is a person that usually, if you ask them, well, how much money are you trying to make? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and, and that's all you got, right? That, that's all you got. Why? Because they're indirect. You don't know. And they're unopened. They're not going to give you a lot of lip service. They're not going to give you a bunch of details, right? You have to pull stuff out of them. Yellow personalities generally are very uh, nurturing, okay? And they care about people. They have careers that are more in alignment with things like being a teacher, being a nurse, uh, a caretaker, even if that's not a career, but even people who would rather take care of their parents full time, right, than to maybe get a full time nurse, right? Those are like those people. Sometimes they call them tree huggers. I don't know about that. Uh, because I, you know, I love people too, but generally speaking, these are the people that are going to be motivated by helping others. So think about people in your team. Think about you. Are you a person that's your in live good? Cause you just, you love the fact that we're helping so many people, right? If that's you, that's okay, right? You're here, but you're probably going to attract other people that are just like you, which means they're not necessarily going to be your builders, <laughs> right? They're, they're just not necessarily going to be that. They may, but overall, okay? So now let's move over to the top right. Top right is your B. That stands for blue, right? A blue personality. So now you have more of an unopened person that is very direct, right? So have you ever spoken with someone and you said, you know, well, what do you like about the E3? Oh, I don't like it. I, listen, I had one of my team members was like, oh, it's rancid, right? Said, I said, whoa, what? Rancid? Well, wait a minute. I had to go look up the word rancid, right? Because I didn't even know what that was. And and so then we fixed some things, right? And, and so we got it. But what I'm saying is they will give you a very direct answer and that's it. Right. There's no explanation about it. You have to still figure out what they're talking about. Like I had to go up to uh, go to the dictionary to figure it out. But blue personalities are more of your fun loving people. They're going to be the people that are going to drive to the events. They're going to be the people that are going to pack up the family and get there. When you look at them, generally they love colors. They have fashion sense, right? They change their hair a lot. Uh, they're very vibrant. Um, they're very sociable. They're on social media a lot. And when they sell things, they're usually talking about how much fun it is. If you guys ever just look at the comments on different posts that people on Live Good make, I literally am a people watcher. So I will watch what people are saying. And I see tons of people saying things. Oh, it's just so awesome. Oh, it's just so, it's so much different here. We have so much fun over here, right? Those are those blue personalities and they're going to be the drivers of the excitement, okay? The excitement of your team, the excitement of, of the company. Um, and maybe you're that person that drives that in your group, all right? So let's move down to the bottom left. The bottom left is G. These are the people that are going to be uh, more unopened, but they are um, direct, okay? Un oh, I'm sorry. They are, um, what is it? They are indirect, sorry, indirect and they are open indirect and open. So green personalities are your analyzers. They're your analysts. These are the people that would email Lisa and like, well, what exactly is in it, right? Well, how exactly does it work? Those are green personalities. And I, and Lisa, I heard you say earlier, like, listen, we got all these trainings and things like that. Yeah, green personalities don't care about that. <laughs> green personalities, they want to talk to the person. They want to talk to the expert. They want to, I could tell the person the exact same thing you're saying, but because you're the expert, they want to hear it directly from you. So I would love to be able to convince people to just go watch the training, but the green personality is not going to do that. Everybody just needs to understand that, okay? So don't stress yourself uh, field about it. They're just going to bombard uh, Miss Lisa. So they are going to analyze. They're, gonna, they're listening to Ben as he talks about the numbers. He, they're listening to how many people are ranking up. What is the success rate? What is the probability that I could do it, right? It's those people. Those um, type of careers are going to be more like your accountants. They're going to be uh, people that are, are very numbers-driven, mathematicians, people that are... Um, uh, 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 what is the word? Engineers, right? They're, 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 they have to use numbers to make determinations in their life and their career. And it's not going to be any different. They're not going to not be who they are when they come to live. All right. Um, and then the bottom right would be R, which is your red personality, right? Your red personality. I see you, Josh, your red person. Trisha, for sure. Right. Tracy, for sure. Uh, uh, daughter, for sure. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, so, it's, it's weird. You got red personalities on this call, right? But um, bottom right. So you've got the people that are um, very open and very direct. 
very open and very direct, which means they will say things that sometimes other people can't handle. All right. And it's not it's not designed to be, um, you know, hurtful or anything like that. But you have to understand that red personalities are like the CEO type. They think about things from the bottom line picture. They don't care about a lot of the fluff that's going on. Does it make sense? How do I make money? How does it work? What do I need to do? And then if they start doing it and then things don't work, they're going to be questioning why it's not working, what needs to change. That's just who they are, right? And so that red personality are going to be motivated by the $50,000 bonus, right? They're going to be motivated by um, any type of cash incentive or any type of bonus to go on a trip or get a t-shirt or whatever the incentive is. The red personality is driven by that. Now, the yellow and the red are polar opposites. So that means you'll see some people say, oh, I'm not driven by money. I could care less. Well, the red personality is thinking the stark opposite. Oh, I'm definitely driven by money. It doesn't mean that they don't care about anything else. It's just that sometimes red personalities realize that the money is what gets you to everything else, right? And, and so you just want to get that. And so if you think about those four types, and I gave you the gist of their, their personalities behind them. Identify who you are in your dominant sense, in your dominant sense. I know I was more of a red for a, for a long time, but then when I had my son, I, I, you know, the yellow came out a lot more, right? The yellow came out a lot more and my green came out. I'm not so much of a blue anymore as I used to be because I'm a mom, right? I can't run the streets like that. And the red, like I'm at home working, how I got to make money. Right. So those are more of my dominant ones. So think about who you are. And when you're communicating with people, as you listen, you can identify who they are by some of the, the things that they say. If you ask what they do for a living, you can actually get the career and you can kind of start making some assessments and start speaking to them in that direction, because you're going to probably make more sales of products or memberships if you give people what they're asking for and stop just trying to give them what you want to give them. So hopefully that adds some value. It makes up for my two week hiatus. And I'm going to turn it back over to you, Mr. Ben Glenn. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thanks so much. You're not done. Oh. All right. <laughs> Follow up questions. All right. So re when you recognize what dominant color someone is, or you think they are, you kind of peg them as, um, like, how do you, you basically need to adjust your communication? Because I know being, I, I identify myself more as a red. And if I'm asking a yellow, a straightforward question, you know, yes or no, do you want, you know, <laughs> Do you want an apple or do you want an orange? They're like, well, I like both of that. It's like, make a decision, you know, I, I get front and I don't want to talk to that person anymore. Like I, I have very low patience for people yep. that can't answer a yes or no question. Brand um, all day, yep. <laughs> so how, like, what do you do? Do you, do you, I mean, if they're different, do you still communicate with them? Do you say, all right, I can't work with this person or do you refer them to someone else or, you know, team them up? What, what's the solution? Yeah, well, in your in that specific example, understanding that um, yellows are more indirect, you don't really want to ask them questions like that, this or that, right? But you have to identify. Like, this is why when you're communicating, it, it's always good to say, "Well, what do you do for a living? What do you do full time?" Because usually that will be a great indicator before you start any you know type of prospecting process. So if someone says, "Oh, I'm a nurse. Oh, how long have you been a nurse? Oh, for 15 years. Okay, great. I'm not gonna ask that person. Do they like an apple on orange?" Because I'm not going to get what I want. I'm going to ask that person, what type of fruits do you have in your house? Right? Not even what you like. Like, what's in the house? Right? What do you tend to buy? <laughs> Where it's a direct thing. They don't have to think about it. It's not nebulous. It's this thing. Right? So you do have to, and I get irritated too. That's the whole thing. So for me, at this point in my career, if I really find someone that's, that's super yellow, I can't. I can't. I have to stop the process and I have to go away and come back. I it's hard for me to recruit yellows. It just is. I can't I don't have the patience either. But nothing against yellows. It's just as a red, I can't. <laughs> but if I were going to ask the question, I would not ask a black or white this or that question. I would ask them what do they have in their house so that they can pinpoint. That's good. Right. So awesome. So would you recommend uh, uh, sometimes it's okay to, 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 you get to qualify the person. If it's not right. someone you want to work with, you know, that doesn't mean that they're not interested. It doesn't mean they don't want to join, but, you know, maybe refer them to someone in your team yes. who's a yellow, yes. right? Yeah. Awesome. Once, once yeah. you know they're ready to sign up though, like I wouldn't pass off the prospecting of a yellow to someone on my team because I'm irritated, right? I would, if I'm going to do that, I would do my best to get the person to commit and they're ready to rock and roll. And then I would just ask my team member to send me their link and I would 
give the person their link. Like I would finish my process with that person and then I would let them know I'm connecting them with Nodder, right? And they're going to be working more directly with Nodder. I would do it that way. If I pass it off, then that person has to start all over with that yellow and it ain't going to be good. <laughs> Very good. So, okay, let's let's elaborate on that. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so are you saying yellows can't talk to yellows because no one can make a decision? No, no yellows can't. <laughs> Yellows can talk to yellows, but the, the the language is help. The language style is help. So if I want to recruit a yellow, you have to speak to them from this from the standpoint of a. We are here to help you. We're here yes. to you. Ooh. We're gonna make sure that you get all the training you need. We're gonna make. We're not gonna leave you behind. We're gonna help you every step of the way, and you don't have to worry about starting something and feeling like you were abandoned. Right. That's the language of them. So you just have to talk in that in that in that direction. Well, uh, I would send him to someone. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. Great stuff, Tracy. Thank you so much. And yeah, that's powerful, guys. When you recognize what drives people, what motivates people, how they communicate, what they're attracted to makes a big difference in, in you know, what you want to talk to them about. You want to talk to them about, oh, this is such a fun company, or you want to talk to them, you can make a lot of money, or, you know, this could change your life. You know, whatever they're focus is their, you know, their motivation, their identity is kind of, that's what, uh, you know, awesome. 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 Great value. Great stuff as usual. Thank you so much. Great to have you back. Let's go out to Illinois. Bring on Josh and Britt. What's up guys. So excited. Be here. While Tracy was doing that training, I asked Brittany, I said, run upstairs and grab the book. So that's the one. I read this book guys. It's super short. It's an easy read. It's got big words for a simpleton. <laughs> pictures? It, 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 no pictures. But if you've not read that book, I definitely recommend reading it um, to summarize that. Yellow equals help. Blue equals fun. That's why our tongues are blue. Green equals information. And red equals lead. So That's there right. you go. Uh, with that, let's bring it back to the basics. Um, uh, I, I really have been thinking about like, what is the basics, the fundamentals of building a business here? And it's recruiting. But the word recruiting scares a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And the reason it scares people is because they think that they're 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 so um uh worried about getting people into something that throughout the industry has not usually been good, right? It's, you're, you're usually getting something people into something where they're paying overpriced price products. They have a very little chance of, of actually winning and all these things. Remove that from your mind, okay? That doesn't exist in LiveGood. You're not getting anybody into anything bad, okay? You're not char getting people to buy overpriced products, front-loading them. They're not going to be stuck in some auto ship. There's none of that craziness. So erase that from your mind when we start, when I talk about recruiting. And so I'm going to put it in an analogy I understand, and I hope you guys will too. But back in college, what I liked to do in my spare time was play video games, right? So, well, back then we didn't have the internet. We, we didn't have, we didn't get on the internet and play video games with your friends. So what I had to do if I wanted to play video games with my friends was I had to call up my buddy and be like, hey man, we're getting to put together to play some video games. You should come over. And he would then probably call another buddy and be like, hey, dude, we're going over to Josh's. We're going to play video games. By the end of the night, there would be like 16 of us with 16 TVs all linked up and Ben smiling. And so is Ryan because they're remembering these days linked up in a living room, eating pizza and drinking soda and, and playing video games. That is recruiting. That is recruiting. Do not complicate the process. Simply call your, and guess what? If my friend said, hey man, I can't make it tonight. I'd be like, okay, I didn't feel offended. I didn't get rejected. I didn't say, oh, I'd be like, okay, I can get on, on to the next friend. And through that process, I would also often meet new friends because my buddy would bring over somebody I had never met. And now that's my, he's now in my network. He's now my friend. And so if my buddy can't make it next time, I then would call that guy directly. And guess what? He would end up bringing somebody over. That is recruiting. Simply saying, you know what? I'm going to, because I'm sharing a good thing. I'm not getting, when I'm asking people to play video games, I'm not getting them into anything bad. I'm sharing <laughs> something great. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about it. I know they'll enjoy it. That is live good. And if you bring it back to the basics of 
that simple and say, here's the deal. You can know all the things. You can know, uh, have all the information. You, you can be a green and analyze all the things. But the reality is, if you're going to build a business here, you have to do the basics. And the basics is recruiting. And recruiting does not have to be hard. It is simply asking friends to, hey, you open a checking out what I'm doing? Hey, do you know anybody who... <laughs> and saving some money. Do you know anybody who would like to make a little bit of extra money? Just be comfortable. Get comfortable with that. And if you will, from your mind, remove all the ickiness of the industry. That's why people struggle with recruiting because they're like, oh, I'm getting somebody into something that's not so good. That doesn't exist here. That just does not yeah. exist. That's what I got for today. What you got, mama? Um, so just real quick, uh, I was just going to kind of back to the basics for, for the new people that are getting on and, um, you know, just starting out this week, this month, um, when it comes to social media, I know that a lot of people, because when we get, when we bring on people, they start friending up or following all the leaders in live good. Right. Um, and I love that because, you know, I did the same thing. I want that as inspiration, but you have to let it be inspiration for you and don't just copy and paste what they're saying on social media. You are brand new. Your audience is not the same audience as Josh's or as Trisha's or as Curry's, right? And so if you copy what they post, your friends are going to think you're spammy. They're going to be like, who the heck is this person? Like, where'd this person come from, right? It also goes to the color personality. If you're not a red personality, you can't copy a red personality and post it on your social media. They're going to be like, who the heck is this? Somebody like hacked your account. So just go, <laughs> go back to like, be you, be truthful, with why you started Live Good, be real, um, find the inspiration from the leaders, but don't be that person. Like you're your own person. Don't try oh. to be someone else. So all yeah. Back to you, Ben. Love all that stuff. Yes. And you know what? If you don't want to call it recruiting, call it inviting, call it sharing, call it building yeah. a team. And I love the approach. It's very non-confrontational and very easy and kind of indirect where do you know anybody? Yes. And everyone is going to say, yeah, me, I do. I want to. If you say, you know, and, and people want to be part of something. I'm building a team. I'm putting together a group that wants to get healthy. You know, anyone who might want to get healthy this year with the lowest price products at the highest quality or, yep. you know, whatever, however you want to invite people or tell people, but yeah, just get the word out and, and, and don't be scared. People want to be thought of anytime. So someone invited me the other day to text to, uh, to see some um, congressman speak or something, which totally isn't my thing at all. And I said, hey, thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you for thinking of me. Not something I want to, you know, I'm interested in, but thanks for thinking of me. People like, you know, being thought about. And um, yeah, so I mean, they'll, they'll appreciate it. It's not, and they'll actually, if they hear that you told one of your other friends and didn't tell them, they'll be like, hey, how come you didn't ask me if I knew anybody that wanted to be on your team or make money or get healthy? Right. So tell everybody and, and hit them directly. You know, you can post stuff on social media. And like Britt said, I mean, yeah, be authentic and be yourself. But if you contact them directly one on one and say, hey, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm focused on getting healthy this year. I'm putting together a group that wants to do it together. You know, anyone who might be want to be part of it. They're going to be like, yeah, I'd love to be it. And then say, say, check out these products. See which ones you like. These are my favorites. And Perfect. You, know, you can do it very indirectly without selling them without telling them to join without telling them to buy anything to say these are what i like this is what i got and people want to be part of it they want to to enjoy it and um they want to be invited they want to be thought about they want to be part of something awesome stuff thanks so much josh and Britt. you guys rock let's go out to arizona trisha costa hello happy friday guys okay so this is just amazing all, all this training is so great um, what Britt just said, I've had people copy my post and I was in Mexico or something very personal to me, or I was talking about real estate and they literally copied word for word and I'm reading it. I'm like, oh, but you're not in Mexico and you're not a realtor. So this doesn't even make any sense at all. So yeah, you can kind of get an idea sometimes from someone's post, but don't copy and paste. Also the algorithm Facebook is very smart. They know that you copy and paste it so yeah. they don't show it to anybody. They're like, nope, you're a copier. We like people that are creative. We like creators. We don't like copiers. So definitely don't do that. 
As far as the um, colors, if you guys want to test yourself, everybody in our brokerage, when they join, they have to take, it's called discpersonalitytesting.com. It's free. We have the paid version, but you can do the, the free test. And it's pretty amazing to see where you fall, uh, how everybody is a mix. You know, you're more of a, a red, but you got a little bit of blue or, or green. And if you are a green just recognize it and just to take a step back and be like, okay, I'm not going to obsess with the fact that customer service hasn't responded yet. You know, you're not going to check 15 times a day. Just let it go. Let it go. Move on to the next thing. Go do something productive. Try to be a little bit of a red at that moment, you know, that you're very analytical. Uh, but so last week, Ben said, you know what, we really want to focus on getting back to basics uh, because we have a lot of new people coming on board. So I wanted to share with you guys that one of the biggest things that I have done in my life 15 years ago, that's when I, I made the change, was to create a miracle morning routine because I read the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And then I read The Miracle Morning for Network Marketers. And I got to tell you guys, that is life changing. Instead of waking up and opening up your eyeballs and you're already like, oh, text messages, emails and I get up in the morning. The first thing I do is meditation. I meditate for 15 minutes and then I do my affirmations and I'm reading things like I am attracting all the right people into my life, into my business. I am so grateful for live good. I'm achieving all my goals. I'm overcoming all my obstacles. So when you do that every morning, it changes the tone for everything that you do. So I do meditation. I do affirmations. I do visualization. First thing I do is drink my my greens. By the way, do not change the taste of anything. I think if people don't like the taste is because they are so used to having pop tarts that they can't handle it. So I think the more unhealthy you are, the less you're going to like it. But the healthier you are, the more you love it. The greens for me, they're like a treat. I'm like, this is like juice. I mean, because I don't drink juice. I don't eat sugar. So when I have the greens, I'm like, well, this is my, my dessert for the day. Same thing with the reds. I find it to be absolutely delicious and, and crisp and fresh. Uh, I love my reds. So I'm very grateful that, you know, Dr. Ryan's very focused on keeping it healthy and not sweet. I mean, if you want some something sweet, just have a piece of cake, <laughs> but not the healthy, the healthy stuff that we have here. So guys, again, you know, I have my, my green juice and then I do my exercise. I have my aminos. I mix the greens with the aminos sometimes. And I exercise every single morning because that gets things going. And then I do my reading and my writing. So the morning time after I finish my little miracle morning routine is when I write a Facebook post is when I have my brain is so fresh and smart at that point. I'm like, wow, I'm ready for this. Maybe it's the day that I have my, my blue, my methylene blue. By the way, I wanted to ask uh, Dr. Ryan and Lisa this question here, because this is something everybody's asking me. I fold it into a million pieces and then I took it, I take it as a pill. So my, my tongue is not blue. And now I'm like, is it okay to do that? So anyway, maybe you guys can talk about that. Uh, but guys, having this miracle morning routine is life changing. Okay. And allowing yourself to set times during the day when you are going to respond to text messages when you are going to check emails, because if you already get up in the morning and you're checking text messages and emails, you don't get anything done that needs to be done. Uh, you know, I make a list of three things that are the most important things that I need to accomplish today. So after I finish my miracle morning routine, the first thing I do is those top three things. They are high payoff activities. It's my prospecting. It's my follow-ups. Anything huge that needs to be done, I do it in the morning. Why? Because the day is going to come at me. There's mm. going to drama. You know, my water heater just broke in Mexico and it flooded one of my condos. So, you know, things are going to come at you during the day, but Hey, I already did what I had to do. And I did it with a very fresh, clear, focused mindset because I, I control my day. I don't allow the day to control me. And when mm. you do that, you stop procrastinating because you're so focused and you get things done very, very quickly in the morning 
and everything else, if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. So I hope that helps. But having this Miracle Morning routine, maybe picking up the book, either the Miracle Morning or Miracle Morning for Network Marketers, maybe both, uh, you know, for me personally, it has truly been life changing. I used to be the person overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. I haven't been overwhelmed in 15 years. I don't care if I have 10,000 things to do. I have it under control. I do it very calmly. And if I get irritated in the afternoon, later in the day, because I do, ha I don't have a lot of patience. That's something that I work on every single day. For me, it's very hard to have a conversation with somebody who's very analytical and green. I'm red. Um, so what I do is I meditate again. So in the afternoon, if I'm getting a little bit, you know, uh, I'm going to kill this person. Why is this is so dumb? If I get to that point, I'm like, you know what? I just need to, I meditate inside of my closet. So I have a place in my, so I go back into the closet and I'm like, I'm going to meditate for 15 minutes. And when I'm done, I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm like, bring on the next analytical person. I'm fresh. I'm ready to talk to that person again. So back to you, Ben. Awesome. Thanks so much, Trisha. So just it sounds like Nader's got something to add to, and I'll let Ryan answer that question. But uh, yeah, so most people don't have, you know, all day to, to focus and, and set their day. A lot of people have a full-time job. So you've got to figure out. So that was all awesome, Trisha. And it, everyone has to figure out what works best for them in their day. And I like getting stuff done early. So Trisha, let me ask you this. And I think different people are different, actually. So it might not be a straight answer. Some people are more productive in the morning. Some people are more productive in the afternoon. So I guess it, it kind of, you got to figure out. Yeah, so I guess we answered it. But um, figure out when you're most productive. And that's when, whether it's before work, if you want to get up an hour earlier to knock out those three things on your list. And I love having a list of three things. I have a list. It's more than three. And I try to, I try to get rid of as many as I can. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three or four in a day. Um, but, and, or if you're more productive after work, set aside that time to do those three things, to get your stuff done and to do your prospecting, do your recruiting. Do your follow-ups, like Trisha was saying. But take that time, and I, I think it's great to set aside time for um, meditation, motivation, self-improvement, growth, reading. And if you're driving to work, if you have a commute, I mean, listening to self-growth, personal development books is yep. amazing. I, my son and I, you guys, you know the story. You know, we listen to something on the way to school every single day. Right now, we're listening to Damon John's book called The Power of Broke. It's great. It's got some great stories, great training, uh, great information. And we, we've been doing this for since he was like 11. He's fit, he's almost 16 now. I, when he gets his own car, I hope he continues it. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, you know, figure out what works best for you. But but just like your supplements, guys, you got to do it every day. You got to be consistent. If you want to see improvement, you got to be consistent with it. And just little things every single day will get you to where you want to be. So Awesome stuff, Trisha. Thank you so much. Nader, what do you got to add to that? Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. All the trainers. And I want to get back to what Ms. Walker was saying. Ladies and gentlemen, every color wants to help. You got red, green, blue, yellow. They all want to help. We all want to help. They, that help thing is in us. So here's how I got into this industry. And I just did a training for the Kelly Toller and Jesse Garcia and their team. I went to the building that I started network marketing at. 20, what is it, 30 years ago. And here is the phone call I received. So I'm just going to tell you what I received. And that was this. Hey, Nader, I'm running out the door. I started a new business. I'm looking for a couple of people that might want to make an extra little bit of money from the side uh, from home. Do you know anyone? Now, that was that company. In my mind, I'm like, why isn't he asking me? So you know what I did? I said, you know what? I'm going to go check it out for my friends. But I'm definitely a rep. If you were to call me and say, Nada, you want to go make some extra money? And believe you me, we just had our baby girl, our first daughter. She's 32 now. And we needed extra money. But pride would have kicked in, especially as a red. Oh, do I look like I need money? So, yes, I love that color training. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so true. But here's the good news. No, like Josh says, nobody loses anything in Live Good. It's a one-time $40 to own a global business. And the 33 cents a day is not even a cost. Because when you buy products and everybody's buying products, even though they don't have to because they see the results and the value, you save three or four times of that. And Black Ben said, we're going to have everything. I don't go post this. But look, we're going to have everything you can imagine in the God's blue sky. You just build your team. 
you be honest with people. But if you run into a yellow that's an analytical, a green that wants to know every answer, I don't want to call tree huggers or anything. You know what you can ask them? You can ask this from a red, green, yellow, purple, any color. Hey, do you know anyone? Do you know anyone that wants to get healthy at pennies on a dollar? Hey, I'm building a team to help the masses get healthy. I'm going to send you a video. Take a look at it. Let me know who you know. Ladies and gentlemen, let people think. One of the greatest gifts that Ben had, and I'm not kissing up to him. I've watched this guy making calls all day long, following up, follow up. Fortunes are in a follow up. And you know what is the attitude? I'm going to say it. It's the attitude. When you go to, I was, we did this in, in, in Florida when we were sitting with our media team. When you go to a restaurant and you order fajitas, you hear the fajita before you see the fajita and smell it. When you talk to people about Live Good, if you all knew what, what we we're about to do with this company, I wish I could inject it to you. You all got to go all out massive action like a rocket ship. You know, when a rocket ship goes all out massive action, it's burning 11,000 gallons a second. And sometimes that rocket does not take off yet. Josh and Britt are trained on that. Brother A, brother B. But when that rocket slowly goes up, see, that's when, I mean, Tim Miller's still recruiting, still sharing, still loving. Because I believe from the bottom of my heart that number one income earner of Liverpool has not even been recruited yet. And that person most likely will be, will never done network marketing before. It could be a single mother that just loves our prices and tell other single mothers. It could be a truck driver that doesn't want to pay $100 for a CBD oil anymore, but is in love with the $25 when it's selling all the other truck drivers. That's the revolution of Live Good. So reach out to everyone that you know. The color training is perfect. But remember, everybody want to help. Everyone want to bless. I don't care if you're red, blue, purple, green, yellow. Ask everyone, hey, do you know anyone that wants to get healthy at pennies on a dollar? Do you know anyone that wants to make a little bit of extra money on the side? I'm going to send you my link. Let me know who you know. Let me know who you know. Thank you, Ben, for coming out of retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday. It's the first day of the week. Today is the day to reach out to all of your contacts. Again, I said that about Ben. I said that about him. He used to follow up with every person until they would cuss at him and tell him, get off my line. It's the attitude. When you find a parcel of land with 20 carat diamonds in it, you want to go tell the world. You don't want to go get attraction marketing. Go tell your friends and relatives. You see 20, 30, 40,000 pre-enrollees a week getting in live good. You know what that means? That means 20, 30, 40,000 people, your neighbor, your PTA friends, your police officer who pulled you over last week, they could be in that list. And again and again and again. The number one income earner of LiveGood has not even been recruited yet and most likely will be new network marketing. Thank you all. God bless you all. And we see you at the top. And Monday Zoom. Love it. Definitely hit up the police officer that pulled you over last week. That's right. <laughs> no, but no, everything Nader said is absolutely right. And guys, when you see some of the stuff that we're rolling out, there's actually three things that are going to... I mean, it's so funny because a million people in 13 months has never been done before in the network marketing industry, in almost any industry on the planet. And I feel like we haven't even, like what we're about to do is get the word out. Like we haven't even got the word out yet. Nobody even knows about Live Good yet. A million people is such a tiny amount. And exactly what Nader said, guys, now is the time. Really the next 90 days, because once the word gets out, it's gonna get out fast. And when I say, you know, we're going to put in another 3 million members this year, I truly believe we're going to do that. But we yes. haven't hit that next wave of momentum yet, that next level of growth that I believe is coming in about 90 days as we ramp up and roll out all this stuff that's coming. Because, I mean, really, one of these things is, is cool. Two of these things are things you guys have no freaking idea what's coming. And it's huge and it's going to help everybody and you want as many people in your organization now to see that growth to see that duplication and that continued just exponential growth in your whole team guys now is the time next 90 days go hard that's all i got ryan i'll let you answer that question and add anything else you'd like take it hey trisha that is perfectly acceptable that's what lisa does that's how she tells people to use the methylene blue fold it fold it put it on the back of the tongue and swallow it the only reason you're doing that is to avoid the blue tongue i, I personally don't mind the blue tongue so i take my time because i feel like i sometimes i feel like i'm going to choke but yeah no that's a, that's okay you, you're fine to do that yeah Thanks. i don't mind the blue tongue but the taste is 
kind of gross. Oh, so, man. <laughs> back, to, hey, take back, <laughs> back to the flavor, though. The reason why it tastes that way, the bitter is is the methylene blue. And there is obviously some mint. We've obviously covered it a little, but but not so much that you you would have to like it's it was impossible to cover it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, no, it's tolerable. It's just not enjoyable. So yeah. I do what you do, Ryan. I put it on my tongue and when it dissolves, when it's almost totally dissolved, I'll down it with like my greens I mean, or collagen right. and uh you know finish it off that way and my tongue is still blue. So and yeah, I will say works. on top of that too, I will say um, a lot of requests come in to have this in capsule form and Ryan and I were just doing some research on it and you really want the methylene blue to dissolve to be into your stomach, not your intestines. So that's why you want the strip or drops or trochees. So in capsule form, that would go and pass through and that would also end up in your intestines. So you want it in this form. It is what it is. And another way to do it, guys, is to drop it in water and just drink it with a straw. So that's yep. similar to if you were to get the drop form of it. Okay. So either way works, but it is what it is and it's worth it. I promise you that. That's an interesting, what you said. So, And this is kind of a gross, weird question. But is that why we pee blue but don't poop blue because it doesn't get into our intestine? No, no, okay. no. You pee blue because it absorbs into the blood and it actually circulates in the blood through and it gets filtered by the kidney, then goes down to the bladder and you actually do pee out. That's why you see green. You see the blue with the yellow green. You're but my right. question is why, why isn't my poop blue? You oh, poop. probably actually, <laughs> sorry. It probably is slightly. You just don't okay. have enough to see it in that in that format. Yes. <laughs> and people do email me and ask me, oh my gosh, my poop is blue. And I'm like, it's okay. So it does happen <laughs> yeah. to some. <laughs> but actually, hold on a second though. A lot of it's because it does absorb, Ben. So it absorbs. It doesn't pass through the GI tract so much. It actually absorbs in um, and it's filtered by the kidneys. And so a lot of, it doesn't really necessarily go down through the bowels, if that makes sense. And, and also, if you have a day where maybe it's really not that blue, of any sort, your urine or not, you may have had a very high dose uh, or good vitamin C day because that can mm -hmm. kind of combat that blue. So little interesting tips. Interesting. interesting. Yeah, I do notice that some days it's darker than others. Just don't take it every day, man. I When I take yeah. it every day, I notice I'm sharper, but I, I can't sleep. So and like the caffeine. It's really, good. it's really, really good. So take it every other day. Yeah, I say take it in the morning too. I It, it keeps me up. It keeps my mind going if I take it too late in the day. <laughs> Mixing a planet Mars for live good. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go! It's time to get pretty rollies. Let's go! Monday, right. happy go. Friday, everyone. Have a great weekend. Welcome aboard to everyone who joined this week. It's been another exciting week. Great momentum. You guys are on fire. Um, order your products. Share it with the world. And we will see you. Join us Monday at noon, right here, same place, same time. Um, Monday for Ryan and Lisa's Zoom call. And speaking of, you guys mentioned something earlier that you should do a call on. What was it? Lisa said it. Why, what while it? you're thinking about it, we have a guest on Monday for an essential oils awesome. training. Oh, nice. Yeah. You guys want to learn everything about essential oils, how to use them, how to maximize your benefit, how to do stuff with them that you didn't even know was possible or existed. Join us on that call Monday at noon. I know who the guest is. She's got a great yeah. background in awesome. everything essential oils. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to miss that one. But no, Lisa said something. I'll sh anyway, I'm sure you guys will cover it on one of these calls. But thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you to all of our speakers and trainers. You guys are amazing. Keep up the great work. Have a great weekend, everyone. It is Firestarter Friday, first day of the week. Go out there and share, share, share. Share the word, share the love share the power, and uh, let's go out there and change the world. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you at the top. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you Monday on the Zoom, and go get pre enrollees. Go on all of the overpriced uh, essential oil companies. Go on their website. Go on their YouTube channels or whatever and start liking people's stuff. Invite them to Monday Zoom. Because people cannot unsee what we're doing. $50 with 100% money back guarantee for the same thing they're selling for over 200 that's your homework for the weekend. <laughs> Look up essential oil companies out there, the Goliath ones that are overcharging people. So people on top get paid and find reps and just invite them on the Zoom and have them listen to Lisa and Ryan on Monday. Trust me. Like Ben said, they cannot unsee our revolution, our love. See you all later. OMG.